Hello, here is my little cluttered tech corner, I guess you could call it. It's been through a few iterations as you might have seen in previous videos, but it's never been quite how I want it. So join me as I turn this very messy looking non-functional setup into something that looks a little bit nicer and hopefully with a bit more function as well. And yes, there's my little Mac collection under there. <laughs> So the first thing is that I don't have my little space backdrop here anymore. And that's because I've removed the drawers that sat there, this wooden piece here. And that's pretty much because the monitors were hitting the top of the shelf and it was just getting a bit cumbersome. So I've bought this curtain rod and I'm gonna wedge that between either wall here. And that does extend as well. So it'll sit up here somewhere and the space backdrop should look pretty cool there. I've come to hate minimalist looking setups, so this white is annoying me back here. I reckon that looks pretty good. So next up, one of the things that annoys me the most about a setup on here is the fact that I always have a couple of computers here. Sometimes I've even had three or four. But then if I want to use them at the same time, or I want to use them without upheaving my setup, it's really annoying. That's where this comes in, a KVM switch. Obviously in this current setup with the iMac G4 and the iMac 2012 there, or is it 2013? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not going to be using the HDMI port. But we do have those four USB ports. That's going to be really handy. It's actually built really well. I've had these simple comm accessories before. This is about 30 Australian dollars. And I'll be able to put in my keyboard and mouse and whatever other peripherals I need into there. And then I can have PC1, PC2, and literally just click click the button to select which computer I want to use. This also comes with two cables, USB to USB there, that's USB 3 by the looks of it. And this, which is what I'm assuming, goes into that DC 5 volts there. It did say on the product listing that it didn't need external power, so I'll try it without. And failing that, I guess I'll just supply it some power from the wall because I don't want to be plugging it into a computer because that ties it down, doesn't it? Kind of defeats the purpose. PC1, PC2. I'm hoping I can hide the cable somehow. Looks like PC2 is going to be the iMac G4. Plug that into the USB port on the back here. And in theory, that should be the only two cables that need to go into there. Let's see if I can try and wrap the cable around the iMac stand somehow to make it look a little bit less shit. I guess this would be the intention to have it sitting just below the iMac screen. So I've secured the little KVM switch here with Velcro. It seems to be sitting there quite nicely. So I'll grab my keyboard, which is one of these black Apple Pro keyboards. And I also have my Mighty Mouse. I'm gonna switch on these machines and see if the KVM works without power. Please let it work. Only one bong, yet both machines are booting. Must have the volume down on one of them. I can't tell which one it came from. And there we go, it works. Here we are, successfully controlling the iMac G4 via the KVM. You may have noticed that the iMac is now booted as well. Oh, that's fantastic. That is going to be a game changer, guys. That is very, very pleasing. I wonder how seamless it is. So here we are on the iMac, about this Mac. Then I press PC2. And then here I am on the G4. Oh, mate. So what next then? Here it is. It's... Lona Spella, however you say the little circle thing, I have no idea. But as you can see, it's a microphone clamp. Oh, <laughs> and that falls on the ground. Essentially, what I want to do is have my blue snowball microphone here so that I can have nice audio when I'm making videos. Now that is pretty cool. Here's the blue snowball that's going on there. It should just go right on there. There we go. Here's the setup, I guess. We've got the lovely blue snowball microphone there. We don't have a pop filter yet. I don't know how bad that's gonna be in the video, but we'll see. You'll notice that there's no rhyme or reason to my YouTube channel. I make videos when I wanna make videos, and sometimes I go months without doing anything. I'm not gonna promise that I'm gonna get more regular with uploads, but I do hope that I'm gonna be making a few more videos on this setup here. Before I got to this today, it was a trash heap, basically. Now it's clean and tidy. We've got the KVM switch, the next video I hope to do, for example, is an upgrade of the iMac behind me. It's got a 5400 RPM hard drive, and modern Mac OS, as you will all likely know, is hell on 5400 RPM spinning disks. 
so we're upgrading it to an SSD. I've ordered the little pizza cutter tool to do that, so hopefully that's coming next week. I also want to get back into the iMac G4. Uh, it needs an airport card. I do have one lying around, so that'll go in there. I also want to upgrade the memory because it's currently only got a quarter gigabyte of RAM, a single 256 meg stick. I can just steal some RAM from my Power Mac G4, which is on the floor and I never use it. I've got a pretty neat screen recording set up for the iMac G4 with a capture card, and the mini VGA I think it is on the iMac G4 to normal VGA to HDMI which goes into my capture card and I'm hoping to do some more classic software tests and you know software shenanigans that way but here we are let me know what you think I never really know what videos to make for this channel maybe people want more chatty things in this format or you want me to be tinkering with hardware or test some really bizarre software and old games and things. Who knows? If you have any preferences, leave them in the comments down below. But failing feedback from that, I'll just be making whatever the heck I want. I've got a whole heap of machines and other stuff that I've never shown on the channel that would probably make for some quite good videos. So hopefully this little setup here will motivate me to do stuff now that I have a dedicated space to record again. Well, thanks for watching if you got this far and I hope to see you again very soon.